Josh, how has it been adjusting to Cape State? Uh, and honestly, it's been pretty smooth, truthfully. Kind of run like uh, North Dakota State in a sense, you know, just the efficiency of everything. We're going from one thing to the next to the next in a timely fashion. So it's been it's been pretty simple. How do you feel about the move to free safety? Well, I feel pretty good about it. I feel like I work well in space. Um, got a great coach to teach me the ins and outs. So I feel pretty good about it. Excited. How much of a bonus is it that you've uh, done a lot of coverage at cornerback? Oh, no, yeah. I think that's huge because uh, – they have me playing a lot, rolling down in the slot, playing man and stuff like that. So I think those man reps over my freshman through senior year definitely helped a lot. Who would you say is the vocal leader at safety right now? Uh, at safety right now, probably either me or Sincere Mason. I just think we both communicate well, pre-snap, post-snap, whatever, whatever communication need to be made. But uh, between us, we make sure we get it done. So I think us too so far. What is the difference right now? How fast you guys are playing as a position group compared to the spring? Oh, no, it's a huge difference. I think uh, during the spring, we were still trying to figure out who was going to play where and, you know, trying to figure out the ins and outs, like I said a little bit earlier. So, But now we're just playing ball. You know, everything's clicking and, you know, we're start, starting to really understand and diagnose the coverages and stuff like that. So it's, it's a big difference. What's been your impression of Deuce Green? Oh, that's a guy. That is a guy. I mean, flying around every single day. Uh, he doesn't miss, miss much at all. And I mean, you can tell he loves the game. He's having fun, so it's easy. you feel like you had a head start having played at North Dakota State before? Uh, yeah, I think a little bit just of, you know, what to expect, what, uh, what the coaches is expected, you know, when it comes to the details and little things like that. There's a lot of programs that don't focus on those things as much. So it's like, you know, having that I guess experience coming from North Dakota State, it was kind of easy to adjust and fit right in. Being an older guy, I know it's only your first year here, but do you feel like there's a little bit added pressure to be a leader in that back end of the secondary? Um, I don't think it's pressure. I just think it comes with it comes with the territory, you know. Being back deep, you're the last line of defense, so you know you have to, in some way, shape, or form, be able to lead. You know, let guys know what's going on. So, not pressure, just you know, part of the job, I guess. Coach had a lot of nice things to say about Drake Cheatham. What have what you liked that you've seen? Oh, Drake, I mean, the main thing for me that I've seen, he loves the game, you know, student of the game. You know, he wants to watch film. He wants to come in and, you know, get extra reps, whether it's mental or, you know, if he has to stay after practice and work on some steps and stuff like that. So that's the biggest thing, and he's flying around. I mean, you got to love that. You got to. Which offensive players are kind of constantly giving you guys fits in practice? Uh, Phil. Phil Brooks is definitely doing it. Uh, Deuce, of course. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, the whole offense, everybody's kind of clicking. Adrian's throwing the ball great, you know, looking us off whichever way he wants to sometimes. So, I mean, yeah, the, the offense is just clicking as a whole. So it's kind of tough just playing with everybody. You had said before um, that uh, this might be a defense for the books. Yeah. W what have you seen from the defense that make, makes you make that comment? Um, tenacity. I mean, that's the biggest thing, you know. There's a lot of defenses that kind of play on their heels, and a lot of our guys are playing on their toes downhill, you know, ready to hit fits, make tackles, just make plays in general. So I think that's that's where that history might be made right there. A couple yeah, more. Some veteran cornerbacks, what have you seen from Echo and uh, Julius? I mean, like you said, they're vets, you know. They've been here before, and you can tell, play good football. You know, they're focused, and I don't really have to worry about looking out to my left or right unless we have a certain coverage that requires me to. So I think that, you know, it's kind of the vets. It's simple. You don't got to worry about them. What have you seen out of T.J. Smith so far? T.J. Smith? Oh, man, he, he loves the game. He loves the game. I mean, he's flying around, making plays, and, you know, every day he's, he's focused. He's trying to come in and do whatever he has to do to play.